Welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Last time, uh, we had our first mid-chapter break. Uh, this time, our heroes have found their way to out of the dark and confusion of the underwear. Mario and friends now saw sun shining bright against a sky, blue sky. This was the sky paradise. Grumpy called home a place of joy. The overland. Where is it? Well, it's over there. The underwear. Some more above never-ending layers of clouds awaiting oh, Grumpy himself. Mario and his friends began their way up the fluffy road up to the above. Chapter 73 The Forbidden Apple. Oh, this is gonna be fun. If there's one thing I remember this about this chapter, it's this specific chapter. I don't remember which apple is the correct one, but I do know what some of their effects are. So we'll be collecting all of them. Unfortunately, that takes inventory space, which we don't have. Ah, uh, blue sky. So if you know what, we will soon be in the over there. Let us continue. Yes, sounds... Well, that sounds... Well and good, but we have to find Peach. I'm so worried. She's fine, I mean, she should be. She's gotta be fine. I pray... I would understand... I pray... I would understand this. Does that... Does yon Peach a lady friend of Mario? I mean, or kind of? It's hard to say, but... I... But I wouldn't exactly call her his girlfriend. I mean, you say they're on a daily basis, but, they, you know, they never really hear it all. I mean, she invites him to, like, carding, but, you know, then there's King Bull who is always, you know, steal the spotlight there, and then, then we have Mario Party, and we're being real and the one that steals all the spotlight. What are you talking about, Luigi? Alright, you've never been to Mario Party. It's great. Bowser's there. Everyone dreads his presence. Oh, it's nice. Why are you turning into Bowser? Luigi... I... I don't know. I can't do my normal accent right now. Is this the effect of the forbidden fruit? Ver oh, verily, but the damsel looms large in his regard. Is this not so? Once I crushed him, mayhaps. And me, and off idle banter, we shall run ahead, so... Keep us up with thou, Cannon. You, if thou climbest too slowly, the sun will set, so shaketh a leg. I ain't doing this shit. This is a platforming level, and I'm only here for the combat. 
character, why are you even in this game? Combat, bitch! This your level? <laughs> I have a Bowser, you, you, you pussy. God, my luck is a blessing and a curse. I forgot I had so much shit in my inventory. I'm adding things to say during the first two episodes of recording session. Fuck me the voice back. Like the underwear that safe. Set seeing how many ghost rooms there were? Jeez. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Bruce is being a husky again. Oh, 
You can take that power block and shove it up into your hands. Curses foiled again. Needs extra lives, anyways. I literally have nothing to say about this chapter. Not yet, anyways. Ow. I will take that, however, because that can turn into a very useful item. Give away that you are almost dead. Almost dead does not mean actually dead. Are you aware you are going to die? We all die. We can never truly run away from death. I genuinely took multiple attempts to say inevitable, but that what the f I reminds me of a comment of I got in my recent videos of how I mispronounce words. Thank you, don't need to remind me. Thanks for
Fatalium and Normalium! Wonderful! Dude, don't care. Boy, you think I destroyed this world for a time now? Quick and quiver at my magnificent hammer! Huh? Is she... Dead? No. Princess! Wake up! Snog! Come on! It's get up! Man, this girl can sleep, huh? I mean... That was a serious roar right there! Ah, uh, Edith, tell me the princess, I presume. She has eaten the golden fruit. She lacketh the common sense, I fear. Yeah. Golden apples, nine, nine times out of ten, is bad news bears. Thine luck is a blessing and thine curse. Go over there, teameth with magical trees whose fruits make many odd effects. The golden fruit hue makes people so satisfied they fall into a deep sleep. I mean deep sleep. Not the kind thou does not wake up from for a hundred years. 
100 years? You gotta be kidding me. Look, I, I'm a patient Koopa, but I'm not that patient. When were you ever patient? Shut up! Love me. Is there anything we can do to wake her up sooner? Pray where... Wherefore when I know of such. But hold on a moment. I do remember I heard a word for like He said one of the tree is in the over there bore a taboo fruit that would wake any wake anyone. A taboo fruit? What kind of tree has that sort of thing? Pray, wherefore shall I know, huh? So when all we know so then all we know is we define a kind of fruit. Marvelous. Well, I guess we gotta do something. Let's go find any fruit we can find. Princess, all shall hold us her the most highest regard. Mm. Do not waste it. I am not helping. I am soaking. Oh my head. Oh my fucking head. Ah. Oh. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Bowser's arms! Fuck my head. I think this is gonna be the only chapter of record today. <laughs> Breathe, dumbass! Where, where am I? Princess, oh goodness, you woke up. Eek, what's happening? Make it stop! She fell asleep again, guess that was the wrong fruit. This video is just gonna be named Bowser's Arms. Fuck, this isn't the this is the longest chapter. I mean, we might as well grab another red fruit for the road. You never know. You have that shut up. Shut up, Luigi. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Waffle falls over. Quack, 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 quack,
Alright, fine, I'll use the cloud. Dude, you're forcing my hand. That was pointless. Ah, this is gonna be straight just straight up the longest chapter. Huh. Oh fuck, that means we messed a fruit. Okay, I'm just gonna need to move the sister partners. Okay, next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario. Uh, my brain hurts.